Hi Ainsley, um, thank you for the question. Um, it can be really hard to get into vet school, so my suggestion would be to apply to as many of the universities um, as you can to increase the number of places that you're trying to get. Um, and then on top of that, if you know if you don't happen to get into vet school, don't waste the next twelve months. Really use that twelve months before you can apply again um, to be you know furthering your commitment to veterinary science, whether it is um, training to become a vet nurse so that you can be working in a um, in a vet hospital. Um, trust me, things like that help you so much once you get into the degree because when you're then studying, you're able to think, yes, I've seen that before in the in the vet hospital. It also helps you to you know, really solidify that that's what you want to do. Um, when I was in year 12 at high school, I went to TAFE at nights so that I could learn to be a vet nurse. And then I was able to work my way through vet school as a vet nurse every weekend. And that education was invaluable for me once I graduated. So um, my advice to you is keep plugging away at it. Really, you know, show your commitment to veterinary science because they have started to look, as that, look at that as part of the entrance requirement in some universities. Um, and even if it's not working in a vet hospital, if it's volunteering at an animal shelter or trying to get a job within the animal industry so that you're exposed to multiple animals, multiple different you know, animal personalities and, and things like that, it really does help um, help once you, get, once you finally get into vet school. So I wish you the best of luck. I really hope that it, um, that it all pans out for you. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you getting into vet school. All right, thanks.